There is one person that we never heard from today. Unfortunately, I couldn't call her to the stand. Annie Chandler. And I'm sure you're watching, Mrs. Chandler. Your trial is just around the corner. Annie is an attractive, seductive woman with her own reasons for keeping the killer's identity a secret so she could marry the richest man in town, avoid prison time for crimes she previously committed, and to get her child back. And she almost got away with it all, too. But the truth came out. And a man will do a lot for the woman he loves. Like keep quiet about things he's done, play the drugged, pathetic victim in order to win the much younger lady's hand. And make no mistake, Adam Chandler is always out to win. And this time, that call is in your hands. I beg you, don't let him get away with murder. has just finished his closing with a compelling argument. If the jury buys it, Adam Chandler could be seeing some real prison time, which would leave his new wife, Annie Chandler, dangling in the wind. Erica, Erica, I'm sorry about Kendall. It's not something I wanted or could have prevented it. Annie could have prevented it. Annie knew the truth the whole time, and Annie kept quiet. She loves me. She's a monster. But I will have a front row seat at her trial, and hopefully, her execution. The jury is back. They've reached a verdict. Okay. Okay. So, What's the latest on the trial? Doesn't matter, it's over. It's done. No, it's not. Not for me. Annie's trial's next week, and Adam has got something up his sleeve, and I need to stop them before she runs or she tries to take my daughter again. Emma's still in the middle of this, all right? And she loses whether Annie goes to prison or not. It seems to me that that is your problem, not mine. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, have you reached a verdict? We have, Your Honor. Will the defendant please rise? We, the jury, find Adam Chandler 